Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul video for you guys and um, I kind of a collective haul. I kind of just want to show you guys a couple things that I've picked up um, here and there. So the first thing that I want to show you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted this picture like a couple days ago. Uh, I was went to um, Michael's to get some glitter and to look for some stackables. I did find the stackables and they're just um, six little containers like this that come together that you can twist open. And you can use stackables for a lot of different reasons. Um, I wanted to make a stackable glitter pack, a uh, glitter thing. And I actually did find some glitter, but this glitter is probably most likely going to end up going back to the store. Um, it didn't work. You know, it's craft glitter, of course. So I wanted to try it on my eyes. And of course, when you try and craft glitter or anything like that, of course, it's at your own risk kind of thing. Um, so I wanted to try out the glitter and it was just way too fine it wouldn't stick to the eye at all so I was like okay this is like too fine of a glitter to work so I don't know I'm just looking for bright colored glitter and we don't have a Hobby Lobby here at all so yeah that didn't work out but the glitter was so absolutely pretty so for everything like the stackable was $2.99 and the glitter was $1.99 so what I'm gonna do is probably go back and exchange the glitter and see if I could try something different um, maybe find like a little bit um, chunkier glitter so I don't know how that's gonna work out but yeah we'll keep you guys updated so on that. So my next stop was Walmart. I went to Walmart to pick up a couple items um, from the store that I was like running low on and that I needed. So if you if you guys remember I did a review on the Revlon Nearly Naked foundation and I think I used the foundation like four times within a week. Mind you I went two two times I went out that week and two times I didn't. I, two times I was just at home um excuse me uh at home playing around with the foundation so um at first like the finish of it when you put it on I really really liked it everything like that but I know I started to notice that throughout the day that it was making me really really oily uh, even when I was using my milk of magnesia it was breaking down um, on my skin really quickly and it was making me I was looking basically like I could just fry some chicken across my forehead and yeah I was just I couldn't take it like literally I, when I wore the foundation I couldn't wait to wash my face so if you are a combination to oily skin person it's definitely not for you but if you had dry skin you would absolutely love it because like I said in my video I love the finish of it and everything I mean I really liked the way it applied the way it looked everything but the only problem was that after a while it was just making me oily so I've been seeing everybody on YouTube review this uh, CoverGirl foundation and so I decided to go ahead and give it a try and yeah my cap looks all jacked up I need to clean my cap but anyway I got the Rev uh not Revlon I got the CoverGirl Queen Collection and um, 3-in-1 foundation and my color is Mocha when I tell you I'm so impressed with this foundation I've been wearing it since I picked it up I have it on right now um, I think I've only bl I've blotted it once today. So this is an amazing foundation. I love it. It just I love it. So I will do a review or like an in-depth review and a demo for you guys so you guys can see it because it's just amazing how like it just soaks up the oil and it's a nice um no shine matte finish. So I will share this with you guys in a video. If you guys want a review or anything like that, just drop it down below. Then I picked up some makeup wipes because I was uh, running out of the ones I had and they didn't have the ones that I had when I went to Walmart so I had to try some new ones but I'm actually thinking I like my new ones better than the actual old ones. So I got the exfoliating wet, uh, says exfoliating wet cleansing towelettes with cucumber, aloe, and green tea and they're just from the Equate and this one has so, six. um yeah I really like these, they smell really good and it's just a regular pop up tub. Then I've been back taking my biotin. I had kind of stopped taking it, but I got back on it. And if you guys, uh, I will do a hair video for you guys, like what, how I'm going with my natural hair journey and the whole protective styles and all that. I will do um, a video for you guys, like an update video basically for you guys. But when I was taking my biotin, I started breaking out again. So it's just because my body has to get used to it. And I also do a video about that. But um, I needed something because it was breaking out like really crazy. And as you can see, I have a breakout right here right now. I have a couple like on my forehead and all right here so I've been using these equate cleansing pads I used to use the oxy ones back in the day when I used to break break out but um, I didn't see any oxy ones there and so 
the only ones they had was these and these were maximum maximum strength and I was looking for one for sisters of skin but they didn't have that either so I went ahead and got these they says 2% um, salic acid um, acne treatment deep pore cleansing I actually really like these um there is like a little bit have you ever used Noxzema and that stingy kind of menacing smell that you smell after you use Noxzema that's kind of how you what you smell until your skin dries because this is like a wet little oxy pack thing but once your skin like dries you don't smell it anymore and I actually really like it so I've been using these on my face as part of my skincare routine and let's see was that all i got at walmart yes so that's all that i got at walmart and then um i was looking i went to target and i got one thing from target because i was looking for an InStyle magazine and i couldn't find the InStyle magazine but while i was there i decided to pick up a glamour magazine because i love glamour magazine and in style um they're like the t my top two favorite magazines to look through and i haven't had a magazine in a while so i was like you know what let me go ahead and pick one up and yeah so this one has dakota fanning on the front of it and um yeah she's really grown up y'all she looks so grown up don't she but um yeah so i really like the glamour magazine so i picked that up from target and i went to walgreens i don't know what i went to walgreens for yes i do i went to walgreens to get no i don't know what i went to walgreens for i went to walgreens for something needless to say whatever i went to walgreens and i picked up one thing from walgreens i picked up something else from walgreens but i don't know what it is so i don't even remember what i went for but anyway i picked up this nail polish and the reason why i picked up this nail polish is because i've been seeing like everybody like i seen nitra b philly diva a couple other girls on instagram painting their nails with this polish and this one is um 24 7 from silver colors it's such a pretty pink and it's like so me like once i seen it painted on nitra b's nails i was like i gotta have it so i picked it up and you can't beat silver colors they're like a dollar 99 versus opi being like nine dollars so you can't get you know it's not too bad for two dollar polish so i picked this up okay where did i go next Oh, I went to Forever 21 and I picked up two things from Forever 21 and the first thing that I want to show you guys is the shirt and the shirt, I've, I've worn it like one time but it has like the um, Empire Rauchen sleeves going on and it's a pretty turquoise color. I've been trying to add color into my wardrobe because as you guys all know, if you look through all my videos, I have on black almost every video or some sort of black or something. It's just my favorite color and nine times out of ten if i go to look for a shirt it takes me at least 15 to 20 minutes to find one pacific pacific specific shirt because i have so many black shirts so i picked up this shirt from forever 21 and it's a size 3x and i want to say i don't have the price tag on it but i know it was no more than about 1080 because that's our usual pricing so the shirt was about ten dollars and some change and um yeah it's just a really pretty turquoise color and this is the shirt that i wanted if you watch my girls day with ellie this is the shirt that i wanted and i didn't buy that day and i was like oh i should have got it because there's only one left well when i went back they had re-upped their stock and i was able to get my shirt it was meant to be then i found this super cute gorgeous blazer i cannot wait to hook up an outfit of the day for you guys because i am planning on bringing my sean's closet videos back um but i got this blazer really cute this neon orange blazer at forever 21 and it was only 32 dollars thing i want to say is that i cannot believe that it actually like really fit me um i usually can't button forever 21 stuff like button it and it actually like looks good button so especially like those types of blazers so it actually fit me it was a little bit tight but i know that i've been like losing weight so I know just a couple more pounds and I'll be, mm -mm, be slim and trim up in my little jacket. So I can't wait to do an outfit of the day for you guys with that. Um, lastly, two last things. I went to Sephora because I wanted to get a new primer because the anti-shine primer that I used to use from Sephora that I got on clearance, I bought the new one and it's not the same formula. So I took it back because I hate it and I went ahead and I purchased the professional and i got the professional um 
primer from Benefit and I really really like it. I can say that I can still see my pores but it's not as bad as it is without like any makeup on or any of this stuff on at all. So it really does work. It still works with my Milk of Magnesia and mixed with like my favorite two favorite foundations either if I wear my Lancome foundation or I got three. My Dream New Air Foam or my CoverGirl one. It still works really really well. So I absolutely love this stuff and I don't know why I wasn't using Benefit before. Um, I also got a lip tar from Sephora, um, OCC lip tar, and this is the one that me and Ellie were talking about. We're talking about Hoochie. So we picked up Hoochie, um, and I absolutely love Hoochie. It's such a gorgeous color. I have not gotten to wear this yet, so I think I will do a tutorial geared around this actual purple lip color. And last but not least, I want to show you guys from Sephora. They have this thing going on that if you, um, I went to Sephora that was in JCPenney. They basically, if you apply for a JCPenney card, they gave you this bag with a ton of samples and I'm not gonna go through everything but you get like a bunch of Murad samples um Basquia I want to say Bas Basquia I think that's how you say it um some kind of oil free daily hydration I had perfume samples in here um a mascara from like uh Peter Thomas Peter Thomas Roth is that how you say his name Yes, Peter Thomas Roth. I got a mascara, a whole bunch of different samples that was in this little, like, vinyl Sephora bag, which I thought was really cute because, you know, you can go shopping and carry your little Sephora bag and throw all your little makeup goodies in the bag. So I thought that was really cute. And lastly, but not least, my MAC items. So me and Ellie did go on the day of the Archie's Girls collection when it dropped. We were there very, very early. We were the, um... There were two girls ahead of us, so we were like the third and fourth people in line. And we actually got everything that we wanted. I purchased Ellie, um, some, I cannot remember the name of the lipstick, but it was something that she wanted for her birthday. And I cannot remember the name of it. I just remembered that it was the darkest lipstick in the collection. And while we were there, I went ahead and picked up three things. And I can pretty much say I'm pretty happy with the three things that I got. I wasn't planning on getting a red at all, but I tried on this lip glass and I could not pass it up. And it is Strawberry Malt, which is what I have on right now. And Strawberry Malt is from the Veronica collection. And I actually remember like Betty, Veronica, and Archie. I used to actually read the comics. My mom used to buy them for me, so I remember them coming in the mail. She bought them from the site and they used to come in the mail and I actually remember reading I think I have some like around my house somewhere so the next thing I bought from the collection was daddy's little girl and I knew I wanted this lipstick from the moment that I seen it swatched on all the swatch videos I knew I had to have it it is a satin finish and it's so so pretty it's such a pretty lipstick I really wish I had got a dupe for it like a second lipstick because literally I um, don't want to wear this because I don't want to like run out of it and the last thing I got was Summer Sweetheart and Summer Sweetheart is from um, the Betty collection so I don't know why I got stuck but anyway it's from the Betty collection and I really 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 like this one like this is one of my favorite ones and it's really just a really nice nude color the only thing I can say is that you definitely need to mix it with the lip liner but other than that it's really really cute and yeah so that's all I got from the Archie's Girl collection there was one thing that I really wish I had got which was the blush from um, Veronica's line from Veronica side I cannot remember the name but it was that really pretty plummy purple blush and I really wish I had a gotten it but I, I, I went to sleep on that so I missed out on that but oh well and the last thing I got from MAC is a new shadow which is called Embark and the reason why I got Embark is because I wanted to use it on my brows so that's what I use at the front of my brows because I use the powder and sometimes I do take the powder over on top of my pencil just to kind of set the pencil a little bit so yeah, I picked up Embark, which is a nice um, like brown with a little bit of red in it. It's a really pretty color. So yeah, that is my haul. That's all the stuff that I picked up, Gems. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And like I always say, it's not about how much it costs, it's how you apply it. So keep doing your thing and stay beautylicious. Mm -hmm. Bye, Gems.